Hello Universe, this is Gypsy. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. This is my July to August update because this project started um, on the 12th. It's called Lip Service with the Fantastic Ladies of Facebook. We are working on products um, in our makeup use. I'm trying to remember how many I've got in here. I've got a Franken pan an elf felt, a chapstick tin, um, a lip gloss, a lippy gloss, a lip pencil, and then a lipstick that's in a pencil. So these are kind of weird. It's about six, about six products in this project. I'm going to start with the ones that are easiest for me to recall um, because they're perpetual. They just, they're just going to always be in this project. I'll start with the Franken Pan. What I've been doing, this is a, a color that I put together out of a bunch of colors in my collection that I couldn't use. I melted them together. There's even a black in here. There's blacks, there's whites, there's all different kinds of colors melted into this candy tin and I refill it into a lippy so I can carry it with me in my purse because this is impractical. I'm still working on it. I'm not going to, I haven't refilled it so I, there's there's not enough use on it to have, an, have warranted a refill but I have this in my purse and I did put it on today. This is what it looks like on my skin without a lip pencil or anything underneath it. Usually when I first get up and put the makeup on I'll reach for the e.l.f felt pencil is still going strong. I've been working on this since last fall um, and that's the only application that I get out of this honestly guys is one time a day. So that has a lot to do with why it's lasted so long. It's just hanging in there lasting forever. Um, I will then reach for a um, lip tin that I've been working on. What I've done is I've melted a bunch of chapsticks down in here. I don't use it on my mouth. I use this as a heel balm. So I have refilled this with five or six chapsticks this month and I continue to put it on and then I'll put socks on and I use it as a as a heel balm. I use it on callus prone areas to fight the potential for calluses. The next product that seems like a perpetual product is my Shea Bella lip gloss. I still don't have any measurable difference for you from last month. Um, it's a slow moving product and I just try to keep it in my purse or pocket and reach for it. I do reach for it often guys. It's just, um, it's just a thick product when it goes on. It doesn't dry down fast and it seems to be lasting me forever. The next product three products I feel like I can show you some measurable difference in. Um, I've got this Aphorism Lippy. It's a maroon lip gloss. I started it in June. I can see window. So I marked where I can see window. I have not pulled the stopper out yet. I started it here and I can see window all the way down to there. This is encouraging to me after having only this in this project for so long. So I'm going to keep working on it and I will roll in another one in a different color when I finish this one. So I feel like um, I feel like I can just see measurable difference and it's very satisfying because we're here to pay in makeup because we feel like we have too much. So this is an aphorism product that I'm working on. The next product is a Maybelline product and um, I had a product like this before so when I finished it I rolled another product just like this in. These are very old. I can't find them anymore. They go on the lip and they dry and they have a lot of staying power. The Maybelline Raisin product that I finished in June um, seemed to dry down and stay on much longer, more like a lip liner. This one seems to be performing more like a lipstick so you can see there's less use on this one. I'll give you, let you look at that. And I measure from that lip to the top of the cap. 
but it's easy to apply and I do like that. I do like being able to just reach into my pocket and put something on while I'm busy and while I'm working. I like to do that. Um, I'm in an office now. I'm not in a on a clinical floor where you have the multiple dialysis machines set up side by side and you have this long huge room of a, of a clean zone or a, what we call them PPE zones. You have to have your PPE, PPE your per, uh, personal protective equipment on, your face shield and everything on. I'm at a desk. I'm doing paperwork. I'm doing audits. I'm, I'm doing support work for other people. So my job has changed dramatically from what I was doing a month ago. So I don't have PPE on very often unless I'm in a private room where we're, where we're teaching patients how to do dialysis at home. That's the new movement is to get patients home. Um, the last product to show you is the Aphorism Maroon Lip Pencil. I rolled this in in July and I've got an August tick mark where I am now. I've got, this is the start, that's July's usage, this is August so far in August and this is early into August so that seems to be how much I use each month. So I'm going to keep working on that. I have multiples of these pencils too. These aphorism products all came together in a gift pack. Um, it seems like there were four small pencils, four big pencils, four small lippies, four big lippies. Uh, we had some tubes kind of like these. There was a bunch of stuff in that packet. And that's something that I have a hard time resisting is multi-packs like that. But um, through panning and through makeup inventories and actually organizing my products, I'm doing so much better with um, what I would call mindless buying all the shiny things. I'm doing better because I, I know better what's in my collection and I've got it organized and I kind of know how old it is and I know what to reach for next. I'm not going to say that the aphorism products are the oldest lip pencils in my project, but I will say that they're the next colors I'm wanting to work out of my collection. I'm, I'm wanting to get away from the darker maroons like this and start wearing rose-colored lip products. So that has to do with why I'm selecting the products that I'm selecting. These Maybelline products are old as dirt and I need to work them out of my collection. So guys, this is my July to August update on the products that I'm working on in lip service. I want to thank you so much for stopping by my channel and supporting this project. I really appreciate your support your comments, your likes, and I'll see you again in a month. Toodaloo!